Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here today. Just want to say quickly thank you so much to all the subs. We made it to 300, the big 300. So awesome, you guys. Very, very appreciative of that and your support in the community. Uh, with that said, let's hop into it. I got another top 10 mythic deck for you today. This time, one color and no companion. Can you guess what it is? Maybe not. I love mono green Stompe. So very, very, very excited about this. I can keep my ugly mug here, I think, this time. Yes, because I you guys mostly know what all this stuff does. With that said, I will post this down in the description as always. So very standard relative to our previous mono green. Big big piece here running running one less Yorval. Now the big pickup here in IKO is an Angorious Armored Killer, also known as Gem Razor. So if you don't get the lovely uh, card style like this, the card that you're going to add in is Gem Razor. So this guy nukes uh, artifacts and enchantments when he mutates. So it's awesome. Now the key here, though, that we got to be aware of is that he's the only get mutate in this deck. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now we, we're running less Questing Beasts, beasts as well now we did shift in our shifting uh, ceratops before this was a cyborg now it's kind of a must uh, mainly for yorian and fires right now um, you're going to want these guys in there very very solid now the other thing that we have here is we got good old vivian as always and we're still running the great hench now big keys here is going to be the best of three cyborgs we got graph diggers which is pretty standard now with any sideboard hate uh sorry graveyard hate ram through so you're going to want to do this when you need to get creatures off the board absolutely so this is going to be good against your mono red this is going to be good against your uh rock dose decks this is also going to be good against your uh, luris decks so something to keep in mind on top of that uh, you can use this against the cycles things like that again anytime you need to get creatures off the board we got vivian of champion of the wilds so this is a great card to put in um, when you need that additional reach, as you can see, we're, we got him, um, and we can do a little bit with um, not nothing with this Vivian. You got to swap in the other Vivian. Now we still have shifting that can do it too. So if you're worried about some flyers, um, that's a great card to get in there too, uh, as well as when you need to get other creatures or get some card advantage going. Uh, Vivian's great to have in there. So Questing Beast here again is great for some of the little smaller decks. Um, shifting Ceratops again if you need more more blue hate. Um, Vivian, Monster's Advocate, absolutely amazing card. Super fun. I've, I've played this quite a bit in draft. Been very fortunate there. Um, she's awesome. So not only can you look at the top cards, this reminds me of the uh, good old Theros uh, three drop guy where you can play lands from the top of your deck, I believe it was. Um, anyway original Theros. Now the 3-3 three, three beast cr creature is great um, and whenever you cast your next creature spell this turn you may search a library for a creature card with lesser convert mana cost and put it on the field. So this is going to really get you a ton of stuff on the board fast. Um, great to have in and swap in if you need against uh, creature decks. Absolutely I would throw it in there as a top end um, if you needed uh, as well as if you need additional stuff against Something like a Fires, I would maybe run this. Um, so anyway, and then another Great Henge, again, to get you drawn Life Gain. Now, Voracious Hydra is key here again when you need to get creatures off the board. So this is going to be great against Mono Red decks, great against those aggro decks. Um, the Mardu Knight stuff that you saw me play yesterday, I believe, uh, that's where you're going to want to play against that too. So very, very fun. I've played this, played against this deck a few times already. Um, really, really fun matchup. So let's hop into it here. Enough of me speaking, and how about we get some game action? So let's get this Gem Razor bad boy going. Now, the keys here too, which is great, is pretty much everything that you have in this deck. Gem Razor can mutate on top of. Now you get some of those stacks going with the counters. You're going to do some major, major damage. Um, and these guys aren't going to be getting stuff to like turn four. So this is great for us in terms of ramp. We don't have the elf guy. We are playing a Karuga deck. So we're going to want a Gem Razor. So this is going to be very, very important for us. Um, could have sat on the mulligan there just for that. 
but there we go. We got a nice top deck, so we'll keep going there. So he can go on top of Paradise Druid, um, and you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to get him off the board at that point either, which is great. So the question here is, do I keep stone? I'm th not gonna play stone in case he does the board wipe. Yep, absolutely. Because he would have got a two for off us. So we're not doing that. Now we got Yorvo. So the fun thing, pro tip here with with these guys as well, when you mutate them, which we can mutate in the next turn, but he's going to push Yorvo back. Um, you can actually, depending on what's on the play, put that over or under so that you don't have to worry about... Um, the legendary rule, which is which is awesome too. So if he runs five here, we're gonna be the only one I really ever worry about now is Kenrith. Well, we can get one fires. I've got time. I really should have seen that coming. That works. I will keep him down. I will keep him. Do I want Vivian? We don't want Vivian yet. We're gonna get questing in. Didn't miss a land drop. So if we need to deal damage, Vivian's gonna be great there. Oh, here we go. not going to be able to do anything there. We're going to make them much bigger now. I am going to love tearing this place to the ground. This will be fun to watch. So unless he's running the exile, so he needs Elspeth or we're good. Boom. So we got mana screwed, then he got mana screwed. Nice when we get it. Oh yeah, and we're playing Platinum Tier 1. Not bad, you guys. Not bad. So top 10 deck here, Mono Green. We will take that win. On to the next one. So really, you get to 4 in this right now with this deck, and you're set. Alright, so we got 2. This is always good. We're going first. We're playing a Yorian. I'm gonna try this because I got him. And I will play this for one. Now, he did have protection from multicolored, so Clarion might not have killed him. I have to remember that. It still may kill him. There we go. Good top deck in here. Three into Yorvo. We also have him now. We can put stone. Oh, we got two of him. So nice. So we can put him on stone coil, which is going to be lovely. And next turn we may not even can push Yorvo back would be my guess. That's fine. Um, the enchantments. The missing the land drop hurts, but we actually have lethal next turn. We have lethal unless you can wipe our board. Probably gonna play fires, which is fine, because then we can wipe. There we go. What are you gonna play, my friend? That is just fine with me. And we have this. 
So I think we nuke first here. We're going to apply that. Mutate. Cast mutate onto this bad boy. Over. Now, we could have put it there. Now, you guys saw that, right? We missed the Yorvo piece. So good news is we still have one more. And we have Vivian next turn. So we can drop Vivian, put one on Barkhide, and one on Yorvo. Boom. Done. Yorian. Done. That's a Karuga. That's a Fires deck. Or Karuga Fires Yorian. All both fires. Done. Mono green. Top 10, baby. Let's keep going. One more. Best of three. Here we go. And the good part is... Slightly dodges a decent amount on um, your sack decks. And we will definitely keep this. So we can go, what do we want to play? I think it's going to depend on what, we're, what we see here, guys. How we want to play this. What's interesting is we haven't hit our one drop. Well, we hit that guy once. So the ramp, here the ramp's not going to matter. It's only when we enter one creature. So I'm actually going to play Barkhide first because he's bigger. So next time we can get two on Yorvo. We'll have multicolored protection with stone. Another multicolored protection with stone. So you can hit in. He'll get one. Two, right? When not a red white miss and Boom. Three oh he missed again. Woo! Hot, 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 hot. This is a fast one as well. Like 10 minutes again. I spend more time talking. Ooh, we'll take that reward. Anyway, hot, hot, hot. Top 10 mono green. Nasty stop deck. Nasty, nasty stop deck. So let's take a look at it, you guys. So we got our IKO mono green stompy as always. Like I said, we didn't see that guy. We didn't see that guy. Saw him. And we saw him briefly. And that's about it. Here's the sideboard again for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the, sh the uh, uh, episode here, you guys can go back, check out what I recommended in terms of best of three. DAC is down in the description as always. Hot, fast matches, you guys. I love it. So thanks again, as always. I appreciate it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the show slash episode mono green is going to be great for you it did work for me again another 3-0 i love it when that happens this is competitive magic too uh with that said you guys don't forget to subscribe down over there we want to see you around more in the community give me feedback comments whatever you want happy to help give you my opinion always appreciate it so take care spell slingers stay safe 300 we'll keep it up keep it up just for you points of view decks all that fun jazz see you guys soon take care